welcome back again thank you guys for tuning in if this is your first time consider subscribing my name is Katia Valino I am doing like a kind of review of a video I did this video four years ago but so many people has been leaving me comments to repeat that video I don't want to repeat the video but I will put the clip of that video so that you guys can watch It's very very interesting topic very extremely important very educational that video is talking about how uh, a, a man's uh, uh, genital gets uh, can I say can I use the word okay it's already I used it in the other video so it doesn't matter YouTube blocked some of them but I'm going to pour everything out it is called Mago in some African countries but it has an English name which everything is detailed in the video that I am going to attach about how a man's a man can be uh, glued into a woman the genital glued inside and very very hard to separate African people think that is juju is done by juju but medical and science has proved that even married people it can happen to married people like you are inside of a woman and is very inseparable you can't separate that until you do certain things take them to hospital but in African country because they believe is juju it has to be done through the native doctor so here you guys watch the video a married man in Uganda was having a sexual intercourse with a mistress in the hotel and his manhood got stuck into this female's vagina. And because we are Africans, I am an African, and Africans believe a lot in uh, voodoo. So, according to this news now and this story, this couple now that we are caught, or they caught themselves glued within one another they were taken into a native doctor to be separated and speculation is saying that the wife of this man was the one that separated them in the native doctor's arena or native doctor's office whatever they are called so being a nurse coming from a nursing background and talking to some doctors and doing some research. I found out that her penis, I wrote it somewhere, capitvus. It's called penis caputvus. It means penis captive. And the penis is caught captive into the women's genital. And this is not the first time it happens. It is it is a very rare condition. Apparently, the first time it ever happened was in 1947. It was a couple in London. It happened uh, within those couple, husband and wife. They were truly married. Yes, it does. But what people don't realize is that it happens in some marriages. Like I said, it's very rare. But because... Those people that we're talking about right now, they are not married. They are doing something that is hidden in a hidden place. And then when everything come out in the broad daylight, the whole media, the whole village, people were talking about that. It has happened before in America. It has happened also in Italy. Uh, this is in couple who are married, right? It has happened in Italy in london and uh, they say that according to research and according to what the doctors that i've spoken to say that it's it's very common in dogs watch if you see sometimes you see dogs running around with the other dog at the back the thing is stuck between inside so it happens mostly in dogs and also think about that what is the and then and then why does it really happen it is when a woman is having orgasm and the walls of the vagina contracts while the man's 
penis is still engrossed so like the man is still big and the woman is already like squirting and shooting it out so the walls of the vaginal wall contracts and grabs onto the penis and this is where the problem begins but the thing is that for them even when you go to the doctor the only way they take it out apart they separate them in the emergency is they're gonna tell both of them to start taking deep breaths so that you can relax the muscle especially the woman she needs to take a deep breath and relax the muscle take a deep breath relax the muscle until the vaginal wall is able to to expand and then the the penis will be able to pull out but my message here is that you guys see what happened right married men keep to your wives women keep to your husbands if you're not married try to get your own partner because if these two people in question right now if their boyfriend and girlfriend the story will have been a little different but in this case he's a married man and she is single so the story has escalated all over the social media it has happened before in Kenya. It has happened before in Kenya. It has happened before in Malawi. It has happened before in Zimbabwe. It has happened before in America. It has happened before in the United Kingdom. But the people still don't believe that there is something called science. So many people still think that is supernatural power, that is voodoo, that they have to go to the native doctors to get things done oh okay i didn't tell you guys <laughs> okay for the size of the penis when a penis is erected normal penis size is 5.3 inches to 6.3 and it is very common also this is why this is very common in africa because black men tend to have bigger penis when it's aroused so it's bigger, it's longer, it's more thick. So could it be that this is one of the reasons why we tend to hear more of these uh, stories from Africa? So, so I hope you find this well. At least you get a little information of what happened between these two couple. I will also leave a link at the bottom of this video for people who want to see the true story the pictures how the people in the village gathered around these two people you know what it's a shame like anyway <laughs> that's so thank you guys for watching i want to hear you guys comment do you have an idea have you experienced that are you aware of that have you heard something about this before leave your thoughts and comments down below i will see you guys in my next video bye for now